and, and put the ball in the back of the net. Well, as we take a, a, a look at the starting lineups, yeah. the, the hero uh, in goal again for presentation from the semi final Lazarus, there's Warrell, Cooper, George, Clement, Jones, Barkley, Maitland, Wilson, Brathwaite, Gilbert, and Boyce. Uh, Boyce back in the team, and the coach is Sean Cooper. Well, I ex ex expect them, of course, Colin, uh, to play in a uh, 4 uh, 3 3, but they're going to morph into a 4 5 1. Expect Gilbert to talk in with Jones. That man there, Boyce and Gilbert, the key factors as it relates to the offensive responsibilities for Presentation College. Gilbert, a new addition, uh, a player with exceptional talent that should have some influence on this game. Well, he scored the, goal, the winning goal against uh, Naparima, and again, he should uh, be, uh, be a handful for St. Benedict's. Let's have a look at the St. Benedict's starting lineup. There is Alexander, Bob Tham, Bachmeyer in goal, Tarek Lee. It's going to be a huge day in, day in danger. Dimas, Critchlow, Garcia, Morian, Niles, Ochoa, Morris, and the coach, Randolph Boyce. Uh, one change in the lineup, seen Brown drop to the bench. And of course, uh, as you will, 4 3 3. Expect Critchlow to, to defend or shield the back four. The likes of Niles, Lee, and Popcom interchangeable, of course, have the guile and the productivity that will cause any team problems. Let's have a look at the highlights. And there is Garcia with the first shot but, uh, of the game going over the bar. Then it was the turn of Critchlow that went wide as well. And there was Gilbert making this run, going up that left side, looking around, trying to get it back with the outside of the boot, but it was held by the goalkeeper. Then Garcia with a ripper, and the goalkeeper Lazarus was pushing it over the bar. Then the shot coming, and Bakma holding on to it. So Swide went into the second half. And immediately, Boyce was on the front foot, had the shot, but straight to the goalkeeper. Garcia with the shot, it took the deflection. And it was the turn of Gilbert again. And this was probably the chance of the match. Went to Levi Jones, who side footed it and got it all wrong. Then a long ball played. Niles getting behind the defense, pushed it a little too far ahead of him. And there was the goalkeeper uh, coming out, Lazarus. Then a shot deflected, Lazarus holding on to it. And Garcia playing a 1-2 with Lee, looking for the return ball, but it was hit a little too far ahead of him. Lazarus to the rescue. Then there was Gilbert with the shot, goes wide. Went into the penalty shootout and Gilbert missing for presentation or one should say the shot was saved then Lee he had his shot saved by Lazarus that was an excellent penalty in the back of the net and this one saved that was uh, let's see Garcia and let's have a look and Boyce missing or let's not say missing but the last penalty from Boyce well saved by McMahon and just like that St. Benedict's they have taken this South Zone the Coca-Cola South Zone Intercall Final by winning 4-3 on penalty kicks let's go down to I think Siobhan is down there with the man of the match the presentation of awards for today is a man of the match, Jair of St. Benedict's College. Congratulations to you. And coming up next, we have our president of the SSFL, Mirie Gonzalez, with his medal for our champ today. And Maritza Balak, the senior marketing manager of Coca-Cola. You got both teams had us on the edge of our seats from start to finish in the game today. How are you feeling right now after walking away with the title of man of the match after all that anticipation? Well, um, I would say the game was a well-fought game, to be honest. Um, it was very intense, very anticlimactic. Um, 
I feel really, I feel really excited to be honest. Thank, thank God for the win, and we're we'll looking to move on from here now. Because it all came down to penalties. What was going through your mind? Penalty, shot after shot. Well, to be honest, I was, I was very much confident because in the practice, um, normally save two pens every practice, but um, so it, it, it wasn't a mentally struggling thing for me. I was very much comfortable and I was able to show what I can do today. So we noticed you were giving Boy some words before he took his shot. Whoa. You want to enlighten us a little bit? I was telling Boy to not cry, you know, next year for him, you know. But also, I, I, I just like to pick up the press boys one time too. All in the, the last time today, we said appreciate the fight. We, we appreciate the talent that brought out here today. And, and on Monday, you guys face off against Central Zone champs, Karapachima East. How are you and your teammates going to get ready for that one? Well, we're not going to change up what we're doing. We're going to keep working hard, keep pressing on until we reach the national and the final. And then that too. Much thanks to you, Jair Buckmeyer. All the best and congratulations to you and your team. Right now, folks, our very own hand is with our with coaches of Presentation College, Anton Benedict. So let's hear from him. Thank you very much, Siobhan. Join my coach, Cooper. Coach Cooper. All They are going towards their fans that supported them for the entire season. The Coca-Cola Intercol South Zone Champions, St. Benedict's College. The energy right now at the Atabola Stadium is crazy hard. If it's one thing, South supporters know how to show up for their team. And after this one today, they match up against the Caps East Central exactly. Zone Champs. So definitely, we're going to be bringing you all of that action on Monday. Carapachima East, winners of the Central Zone face-off against St. Benedict's College, who captured the South Zone inside the Coca-Cola Intercall final tonight. Listen, that will be our national quarterfinal, and what excitement that will bring to each and every single viewer. The final score here today, when it came down to penalties, on full time it was nil-nil. Presentation, Nelson St. Benedict still, but when it came down to the penalties, presentation, three goals, St. Benedict's getting the edge with four. On behalf of the entire...